Hello there, this is Dr. Matt Eschler coming to you with a four-part series that I am super excited to deliver. I hope that you get something from it. I hope you watch all four episodes. Here in this first episode, we're going to talk about in a relationship, you need to be 100% whole going in. You're not a 50% person hoping to uh, pick up the other 50% in a partner. You're whole. You have very a very independent mindset. You're ready to be interdependent or lean into someone. The first session of this is all about that, and I hope you enjoy it. I hope you um, watch the entire clip, and then as soon as you're done with this clip, go ahead and click on one of the buttons down there that will take you to the second clip. First principle that I want to talk about. Now remember, a principle is a law or a rule that governs reality. You cannot avoid principles. If you do, there's a cursing side for trying to avoid or misusing principles. And there's also a blessing side if you honor and comply with principles, like gravity. Gravity is a principle. When you comply with gravity, aerodynamics is possible and you can fly in an airplane. It's also true that if you step off of the top of a high building, your gravitational pull will pull you rapidly to the ground and hurt or kill you. So we must honor gravity. There's no way around it. If you decide to uh, argue with and fight against gravity, it's going to hurt. Much like that in a marriage, if you fight against these basic principles, it's going to hurt. And so just rest assured that if you will just be humble enough to lean in to these principles that I'm going to share with you today, it will be life-changing if you've been breaking them or ignoring them, and it'll be life-enhancing, and it'll validate what you're already doing correctly if you're already living these principles. So principle number one of a healthy relationship, whether you're dating to get married or halfway through a lifetime of being married, um, no matter where you're at on the spectrum of joy, this principle is something that you can pause and address. You must be a whole person inside of the relationship for you to have a healthy relationship. So you and your spouse must be whole people, 100% whole. Imagine if you do uh, that, uh, you know, that 50-50 deal where you know, you're, you, we're going to give 50-50, so we each give our share. Um, that's more of a competition, each giving your share. You always have to hope that your partner shows up at their full 50%. And if they don't, your relationship starts to dip below that 100% necessary to stay alive. And so if I'm like at 30% today because I'm having a bad day and my wife's given her whole 50%, well, we're still just 80%. But what if I show up and she shows up a full 100% whole person, our own individual self, completely independent of others, completely clear of the anxiety of needing someone, but we uh, actually just want to be with each other. What if two whole people come together? See, love comes from within and then extends out. And if I don't have a self to love, then I can't really extend love to you. And so part of my task to be healthy in a marriage and part of my wife's task um, is to be 100% whole, which means we have to work on ourselves. You both must continue to progress and work on yourself daily. Uh, you can't rest on your laurels. You can't hope that you've progressed to get married, and now once you're married, it's okay. You can just relax and lean into having kids and a career and not worry about yourself and the marriage. You have to manage your marital life the rest of your eternity. So love coming from within, you have to have a self which means you have to do self-care. Now, I almost hesitate today to talk about self-care because I hear from so many uh, individuals that self-care is a right and an, an entitlement that ventures clear to selfish. So I want you to understand that part of self-care is service. So self-care, being whole, getting rest, learning what your boundaries are, knowing what to say yes to and knowing what to say no to, as well as service and looking outside of yourself for people in need to extend yourself to. See, you have a list of strengths and a list of weaknesses in your soul. Those strengths that you've been blessed with by your higher power, by your God, are meant to be used to serve others. And those weaknesses that you've been given are given to you on purpose so that you can become stronger by allowing service to be performed on you. 
And so the idea behind this idea, self-care and service, it's super important so that you don't just become selfish and so interested in self-care that you forget that you're part of a, a community and a nation, um, you're part of a family, a system that require your strengths and your weaknesses to be involved in the service of that system. And so in another uh, discussion, we'll get into that deeper, but understand that being a whole per a whole person means that you're a hundred percent whole and independent, and that you're willing to do self-care and service so that you don't become selfish, but that you also don't become a doormat that just gets abused and you wear yourself out. But this is so important on being a whole person. See, people that are wandering through life believing that others owe them become easily offended. So we need to be careful about being easily offended. Now, how that applies to a marital relationship is if you're going through your life as a married person looking for the offenses that the other one perpetrates upon you, you'll see daily offenses. You'll see daily reasons that you can be offended. But if you walk through your marital life looking for the joy and the peace and the love and looking for the good in your partner, You'll also see that. See, your partner comes with their list of strengths and weaknesses. And it's not always about you. It's not always about offending you. Now, there's probably times where we get ornery with each other and are offensive. But we ought not be easily offended. The final thing I'll say about being a whole person, and and we're going to talk quite a bit more about some tools of regarding creating that whole person if you're not there. But the other one is invest, invest, invest. You have to invest in yourself and your partner and your relationship. There's three entities. I want you to look at it like that, that there's three entities. There's you, a whole person. There's your partner that requires you to serve them and to be involved in their their progress as a whole person. And then there's the marital relationship that is an entity in itself that needs to be invested in. It takes on a life of its own. Your marriage needs investment, you need investment, and your lover needs investment. And so if you're thinking through the lens of, I have a lot to do this week, I've got 168 hours. Some of that time will be spent doing self-care, like I need to sleep, I need to eat meals, I need to exercise, I need to do a couple of hobbies. And then the rest of the time is divided up between career, kids, and each other, and the marriage. And there's times where I meet with people that come from such time and investment-starved relationships that there's literally no relationship left. It has been starved to the point of death. It's been starved to the point of uh, becoming so anemic and so weakened that it's, it's almost non-existent. And so doing rescue breaths, almost like CPR rescue breaths, and, and I almost picture those Navy rescue swimmers that, that have to just kind of like get the water out of people's lungs and give them little rescue breaths until they come back alive. That's what you'll have to do to your marriage if you've starved it for time and investment. So invest, invest, invest. Invest in yourself. Invest in your lover and invest in your marital relationship. That's three entities that require investment, time, and service. And, and again, everyone's got the same 168 hours in the week. If you use those hours wisely, you'll be able to, uh, to make a difference. If you don't use them wisely, if you've got um, uh, habits or, or addictions that waste time, um, literally we're all too busy that it's, it's almost impossible to waste time and uh, do become healthy and have healthy relationships. Okay, so be wary of that. Thanks for watching video number one. In this video, you've learned how to be your whole self going into a relationship. And I'd like you to look down below and notice that there's a second video. Um, go ahead and click on that link and, and see where it takes you.